Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Today's beer is Whale's Tail Pale Ale from Cisco Brewers out of Nantucket, Massachusetts. This is an English Pale Ale coming in at 5.60 ABV. Uh, this is a year-round serving, so if you can get it in your area, you shouldn't have a problem getting it year-long. So, uh, the food pairing for this cuisine would be your Indian, your Mediterranean, your Middle Eastern type foods, uh, the cheeses would be the Pepper Jack, Monterey, uh, the Sharp, the Blue, and the food pairings for the meat would be fish and shellfish. So uh, the glass today is going to be the pint. You can use a Becker, the Mug, the Stein, or about anything you want to pour it into. This beer is not recommended for extended cellaring because of the hoppiness and it's a lower ABV, 5.60 ABV. So. Uh, Let's get the cap off of it and see what we got. I'm not going to generate just a tiny little bit of head there at the end. Yeah, I got just a little bit. This is a very clear beer. I mean, you can see absolutely through it and it's straight out of the refrigerator. Uh, not a whole lot of bubbles trimming up from the bottom. It is an amber color, almost a copper color just about. Uh, we got just a, about a half a finger of head and it's going away pretty quick. So let's get a nose on it, see what we got. Uh, I get a lot of maltiness right there, not a big hot presence right off the front. It's going to be the English Pale Ale, so there probably isn't going to be a great big of. Uh, hot presence up front. It smells rather malty, so uh, see what we got. Taste it. Not too bad. whole lot of malt. I'm not getting a whole lot of hot presence in this one. So this is definitely the English style of the pale ale. Well, we're going to let it warm up and sip on it a little bit and see if there any different aromas come out of it. So stick around. We'll be right back. Alright guys, thanks for sticking around. Got just a little bit left in the glass. Well, maybe we do a little bit more to chug. Let me sip on it again. This is a... This is a... This is, a, this is more malty than hoppy. Uh, I've had this beer... Well, I've probably had this beer... I don't know, probably two months or so. Because uh, it is the English style. I, I, I kind of figured it wouldn't be very hoppy. This is an average beer to me. Uh, it may be a C plus, but uh, I'm not. I'm not really impressed by it. So, final chug. I try to give most of the beers, even though it might not be my cup of tea or my style, but I just try to call it as I see it, and I don't give a. I don't get a whole lot out of this beer. It's 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 pretty average beer, and that's the way I'm going to grade it too. So, uh, unless I get a response that you know it was an old beer or something like that, because they don't have any date on the bottle, so that's another uh, another black mark on it. Uh, they need to put the dates on it so you know how old the damn beer is. So, that being said, I'm going to give this beer I'm going to give this beer a six on the scale today. Uh, Rate beer gives us a 61 overall. And 84 in the style. And Beer Advocate gives it a B. Uh, so uh, I'm not up on the B. So uh, I'm gonna give it a C. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a six on the scale. If you've had it and you disagree, 
or you do agree, let me know what you think. Uh, tell me what you think. If you, if you think it's a good beer, and I need to get a new bottle or whatever, let me know. Uh, if you've not had it, give it a try. I mean, you may like it. I mean, it may be your cup of tea. But anyway, as, as always, guys, rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next beer review.